Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have the ROG Phone 3 here with us along with its full suite of accessories that go with the phone. Asus was kind enough to send us all of these to test out and review. So let's introduce all the accessories from my right to the left. The most important accessory I think for the ROG Phone 3 is the ROG Kunai 3. It's a game controller that also works wirelessly. And then followed by the ROG Clip. This one, it clips to your PS4 or Xbox controller, even Stadia, and your phone goes here, so you can use your Bluetooth controller to play. And then followed by the accessory that actually comes in the box, the Aero Active Cooler 3, which also acts as a stand. And then followed by the TwinView Dock 3, which extends your display. Uh, it gives you two displays, basically. And then the last accessory isn't actually part of the suit here, isn't part of the series. The ROG Chitra RGB USB-C headset. It's useful because the ROG Phone 3 actually doesn't have a headphone jack. It only has a USB-C port, so you can use this to uh, listen to audio. Like I said, the most important accessory for the ROG Phone 3 is actually the ROG Kunai 3. So let's start the video by talking about this one. So to use the ROG Kunai 3, you need to connect the bumper case that actually comes with the accessory itself. It has the connectors at the sides which are necessary. Uh, align the USB-C port this will provide power to the controllers later. Connect the controllers, remove it from the charging hub. Oh, and this is the charging hub for your RG Kunai, by the way. This thing here, right? So remove it. Uh, okay, slide it in. <laughs> Next one. As you can see, it has lit up, meaning it has connected successfully. Now you can start playing games. So as you can see, there are a lot of buttons here now. This toggle switches between USB and Bluetooth connections. This is your home button, so if you go on a, to an app, just hit this button to go back home. You have, as usual, your RT and RB triggers. Then there are two triggers at the back. Feel really good this time. A really short travel, but also very clicky. You can also map these to uh, different controls on your phone. So let's start gaming. You need to place your hands a certain way, otherwise this will feel really uncomfortable. Now the distance between the RB and RT triggers are actually not too far apart meaning if you have big hands and long fingers like me it's not going to feel very comfortable but it works for the most part so god damn it guys you can also map the back uh, buttons if you have more controls let's try and map it to something let's try and map it to say use one of my skills M1 is to use skill 1 M2 is to use skill 2 Let's try and use skill 1. Shield turret deployed. Skill 2. Someone there. Hunter killer drone deployed. Die! What? Now, as I mentioned before, you can use the Kunai 3 wirelessly as well. So to do that, remove the joysticks first. You don't need to remove the bumpers. It doesn't matter. And then, you have your grips here that you can also connect it to for a better grip, obviously. Now that's done, you need to connect to this via Bluetooth, but first to do that, you need to switch the toggle to Bluetooth. Once you've done that, hit the home button for 5 seconds to pair it. Once you've done that, the light should be blinking. Now that's connected, the best way to actually play this is to connect your Aeroactive cooler back onto your phone. Besides cooling down your phone, this also acts as a stand. <laughs> Now if you're a gamer, the default control mappings will feel actually very familiar to you, so don't worry there. But in any case, you can always remap them to something more comfortable for you. Now this wireless control, compared to using it on the phone itself, feels pretty intuitive even though you now have a narrower frame to hold on to. I like it, it's fine. It feels more or less like a PS4 controller in terms of size. The, also, the grips are also very yeah, easy to hold and it's quite intuitive as well. The grips itself actually feel more like an Xbox controller. Eh. So the best of both worlds, I guess. And there you go. Using the Kunai 3 wirelessly definitely works and it's pretty easy to set up as long as you have the Bluetooth connections uh, secured. The next accessory that you might want to get with the ROG Phone 3 besides the Kunai is the TwinView Dock 3. Uh, this time around, it's also more streamlined in terms of design. It's actually very thin and light right now. It also has a 6-inch AMOLED Full HD 144Hz secondary panel right on top. It also comes with a 5000mAh battery that you can charge 
here. So basically to set it up, it's pretty much like um, the old twin view docks where you basically dock your phone onto the port here and then clip it once it makes a sound connection and then slide the slider at the back to turn it on and to lock your phone. So there are games that are compatible with the twin view dock uh, as in it uses both screens at the same time but besides that you can also use this to multitask as well you can have two apps basically running at the same time one on the secondary display one on your main display so basically you can use this to watch youtube or this one to type documents or anything you want so let's play a game so when you play asphalt 9 on the twin view dock the game itself is actually displayed on the secondary screen meanwhile your the phone itself displays the map as well as your stats so let's do this So at the same time, I can look at the map at the bottom to see how I'm placed as in my position in the pack. Right now, I'm second. No, I lost. Now, the reason why I've kept the bumper, the original bumper from the Kunai on this is because you can actually use the joysticks from the Kunai with the twin view dock. It works the same. So you can tell the designers and the engineers at ROG definitely thought this through. You're meant to use this together. Ta-da! And the audio is a bit loud this time, but the um, clips are actually blocking my side buttons. But don't worry, you can actually control audio by using the buttons here on the secondary display itself. You can also turn off your display by hitting this button. How cool is that? Just swipe up and you're back in your game. Just like that. So that's try another game, this time with the Kunai controller attached. Same thing, but this is just to show you that you can actually use two accessories at once. Yep, so it works completely fine, no problems whatsoever. Let's pwn this, oh, it's still lost. It's still lost. So as you can see, all your race results are at the bottom, meanwhile your replay is at the top. Meaning you can watch how you lose in this time with more details. One thing I forgot to mention is that this also has a fan at the back to keep your phone cool because you are pretty much blocking any form of uh, air circulation through your phone by connecting so many accessories but good thing there's a fan at the back. Now let's try to use two separate apps using the dual display. So there you go, you have one app open on your phone and a secondary app open on your second display. And it works the same. It has its own uh, buttons, you can swipe like usual. I can see definitely uh, several use cases for the twin view dock, but in the gaming sense, uh, it works with games that are compatible, um, which you can find on your Armory Crate. Simply go to Feature, go to Twin View Dock, and these are the games that work with the um, Twin View Dock, although some of them don't actually work. I'm not sure why they're here, but the one that I know does work is Asphalt 9. So, yeah. So, now the next accessory is a simple one it's the ROG clip. So, basically, you connect your, you attach your Bluetooth wireless controller at the bottom and then clip your phone to the top. It's sort of like a makeshift uh, combination of Twin View Dock and your ROG Kunai. So basically, you use the hardware that you already have. But the problem that I realized with this is that there is some latency issues. Right, so it technically works. It's connected, but the latency is horrible. Um, I it's almost unusable, which I think is a problem. Ha, huh? screw you. I think it's a problem with the controller itself. The PS4 controller is incredibly old. If I'm not mistaken, this is at least six years old. The whole Bluetooth thing works with the Kunai, which is of course brand new. So I would suggest if you want to use the ROG uh, clip here, you might want to get a newer Bluetooth controller, something that isn't as old as this PS4 controller here because latency is absolutely horrible. But the good thing is, you also get clips that work with an Xbox controller as well as a Stadia controller. So those 
The Stadia controller especially is newer, so maybe that won't have as big of a latency issue. So if you have those controllers, you can use the clips that actually come in the box. Lastly, we have the ROG Chetra. Like I said, it's not exactly part of the ROG 3 accessory pack, but it's useful because the phone doesn't actually have a headphone jack. So you can use this USB-C headphone to work with the ROG Phone 3. It comes with a case like this, <clears throat> although when you unbox it, it's actually in the box. This is a, not a new sealed unit. So right off the bat, we see a pretty hefty volume rocker here with the ROG branding at the back, but everything else is plastic. I would have hoped that they would have given us some sort of braided uh, cable sleeve, but nope, everything is uh, pretty generic. What's cool about the ROG Chetra is that it has RGB lighting. So let's hook this up to my ROG phone. You have RGB lighting on the ROG logos on the earbuds itself, as well as, well, you just get a white light on your uh, volume rocker here. But before I go any further, you do get extra ear tips in the packaging, uh, depending on the size of your ears. So that's good. So let's give this a listen and see how it sounds like. Okay, so right off the bat, incredibly loud, punchy bass, great balance, and it's pretty much what you expect of a premium headset. The good thing is, it has active noise cancellation, and it's also Discord certified. So not only can you game with this, you can also stream with this. This being a USB-C headset also works on your PC if you have a USB-C port. But speaking more about the fit, right now, the default your ear tips that come with this actually fit well in my ears but of course this is subject to your own ears and but don't worry like i mentioned you have the extra ear tips in the box itself as well as the extra ear fins to make things more comfortable yeah but the anc is incredible it really does block out audio and uh, noise so awesome now if you're interested in getting any of these accessories, here are the prices starting with the rog kunai 3 which costs 499 ringgit same as the ROG Chetra RGB, which is also 499 ringgit. Moving on to the ROG TwinView Dock 3, which costs 899 ringgit. Lastly, the ROG Clip, which costs 149 ringgit. The Aeroactive Cooler 3 comes in a box uh, when you get the ROG Phone 3, which starts at 2,999 ringgit. Well, that's it from me today. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. This is Victor signing off. Bye-bye.